I'm on site. Um, yeah, last story for the day. I just wanted to play you Tyler's new interview. Uh, you know, we're documenting, we're documenting this these international people. You know, I mean, like our people, their journey must be documented. You know, seeing them ascend, ascend. And then if there's any problems where they fall down, you can backtrack and see what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened. What happened. So yeah, she's done a recent interview with um, Billboard, and she speaks about South African music. She speaks about her music, and then she speaks about canceling her tour, which was quite interesting. I'm not sure if we'll get to that, depending on how much time. I'm running out of time. Um, yeah, but you know, remember there were speculations about her tour, but she canceled it because she didn't um, sell enough tickets. What? 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 Because people still think she's an industry plant. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, let's watch. Let's watch this billboard interview. Oh, I love Bokadi. I just really love bringing South African dancing to my performances, like all of them, as much as I can. And with Water, we were looking for a moment for the song. Like we had to push, we were grinding, trying to make a plan. And we were doing that type of style for a different song. And it was getting good responses online. So we were like, let me do this, but for Water. And we did, and I poured Water on my back. And then video flew, like it literally went and changed my whole life. The first time I went to America was June 2022 and we went to New York. I remember in that time where there was labels reaching out and people wanting to sign me. I honestly wasn't expecting it because I didn't know that people would see me from like America, like labels and everything. But when they started reaching out, it was a different level of excitement and a feeling that we were getting closer to the dream. I was making prior were very much a pop and R&B and I wanted to do that on an I'm a piano beat and also in South Africa around that time there wasn't many people singing on it it was mainly like chanting or instrumental <laughs> chanting <laughs> no come on Tyler don't say that niggas were singing come on niggas were singing Lindo fucking something so they were chanting they were singing come on Tyler don't say that <laughs> so it was very new and it was literally us just playing around Shasha come on Shasha was on that shit that I'm watching and from there I realized that that was my sound I don't know like I don't really like putting a name to it just as yet because I feel like it's still gonna get its name but Papiano it's cute I've been making the album for over two years so it's been literally a while and I've gone through a lot of changes physically emotionally and even musically so i feel like this tyler album is like me wrapping up that era of myself and presenting it to the world as my introduction yeah, so, so, damn she's so pretty she's so gorgeous oh forgive me forgive me for thirsting <laughs> i really wanted to also have like i said expand the world like with becky g play around in the latin world Obviously, Tim's me and her, come on, like African girls killing it, only made sense. Ghana and Skilly, I feel like I also explored a bit more because in that song, I was also very like, like talking my business. Talking my shit, popping my shit. I don't know, Ty, I don't know, Ty. And I felt like Ghana and Skilly were the type of people to carry that narrative with me. Everyone on the album, like, <laughs> love. Okay, so here's where she's talking about cancelling her tour. It's difficult because I want to go. I mean, it's a moment that I've been waiting for, my team, everyone's been waiting for for very long. So it's not an easy decision, but it's the right decision. And I'm happy that I took it. And I know that when I come back and when I'm dancing again, I'm going to be giving a whole spectacular show. So it's not really all negative. It's just... Hmm, interesting so she doesn't really get into it i mean i felt like if she really was injured she would you know because you would come and say oh i was doing this and i hurt my back or you know she was she was cleaning up debris and then she fell <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking but yeah i mean i feel like she would have given a reason why she couldn't like just rather than she just say an open statement like i got injured you know so maybe she didn't sell enough tickets you know but I don't know, man. I don't know. Because I feel like she has a hit song. Definitely she has a big song. But she does she have 
a hit fan base, you know, that's, is her fan base big? Like, because you can have like a big ass song, you can have like a big ass album, but then those things can be even bigger than you, you know, and like your song can be so much bigger than you are. So you might not even have a fan base, uh, but I don't, I'm not sure if that's the case with her, but yeah, it's interesting. It's gonna take a bit longer than we thought. I think also what helped with that decision is just me being confident in the project and confident with what I created and what I'm going to share, like the videos, the visuals, everything that we're doing. I'm just really confident in what I created. There's no way to stop me. I'm always going to find a way and I know it's still going to be amazing. Yes, sir. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, wait, this is her winning the grammar. Let's listen to it. Grammy goes to water. Tyler. Uh, I cannot. That's so dope. That's so dope. But yeah, man, that was the Tyler story. That was the Tyler Billboard interview. You know, we're documenting her journey, seeing how she's going, making sure everything's all right, make sure America is not going to fucking kill our girl, turn it into a, uh, one of those Britney Spears. Now she's dancing alone in the house. <laughs> hey, guys, pray for Britney Spears. Anyway, yeah, man, that's all for today. Um, I was really slouching today. <laughs> Gosh. Thank you guys for watching as usual. Um, I'll definitely check you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, we're pushing, pushing, pushing every day, every day, every day. And yeah, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I'll put the handles where the handles need to be left. And yeah, it's your boy, yes, sir, Sid. Bye. Well, 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 well. You know you might be. I'm on site.